Hey, what's going on? Joel Wallace here. Today I'm going to show you how to reset the Ada UHD 100A camera. Uh, recently I went through my own struggles with trying to reset this camera and it's super easy if you can connect it to a monitor through the HDMI output since to access the menu it does come through the camera like this. So what happened to me was I accidentally changed my camera over to 4K and all of my devices are strictly just HD and I was unable to be able to access the menu since it was in 4K and I couldn't go through to reset the camera. Couple ways you can reset it without having to do it blindly is basically you could use a Windows computer and then reinstall the firmware onto the camera and it'll wipe it and reset it back to normal so it'll default back to 1080p at 30 frames. Unfortunately, I don't have a Windows computer, only Mac, so I wasn't able to do that route. I did call the manufacturer. They did walk me over the phone. Um, it took definitely quite a bit of tries to, to get it going. And I figured I didn't see a video online on how to do this. And even if you were to look at the owner's manual, it's still kind of challenging and you're not sure where you're going in the, in the menu. So I figured I'd create this video to help you guys out if this ever happened to you and as well as kind of share my thoughts and through this painful process to hopefully make it easier. So first of all, um, to talk about the joystick, I'm gonna switch over to my other camera. So this joystick that's connected to the back of the camera is the only way to access the menu. Now you'll notice that you'll have U for up and then D for down and then you have left and right, but we don't need to worry about going left and right for this application. One thing to take note is when you press this in, you'll still feel a click, but I really recommend just really pressing it in and giving it a second before you, you switch around through the menu. Even when you go down, you really wanna like get a nice, good, just solid, you know, pr contact when you press that in. So, that was one thing that I realized that I thought I was pressing it in enough because I did feel a click, but you really just want to like press it really hard. You're not going to break it. It just, that's just the way it's got to go. So to begin with, I'm going to show you the steps through the menu. And what we'll do is we will press in the joystick for enter to bring up the menu. We're going to go up twice. And you want to just kind of go slow because the, the menu is kind of slow or like it has a delay. So you just kind of want to give yourself a beat in between. So we'll go to up, select. And I know you can't see it if your camera's currently, you know, bricked like how mine was. But it's just going to do a factory reset. So we're going to go down once, enter, and then we're going to go down once and then enter. So it's gonna to flash to black. Now it's resetting and here shortly we're gonna have our picture back up and there we go. Now we have our menu or we have our camera back up, super easy and definitely way easier than trying to look in the owner's manual because you just don't, you can see where reset is but then like where does it take you from there? So again, I'm just gonna go through the menu just real quick to show you and again, I really want to stress on really pressing in the, that button uh, when you do this. So we're going to press it in really hard, up, up, enter, down, enter, down, enter. And that's going to reset your camera. There we go. Now do keep in mind this is going to reset all your settings. So if you adjusted the white balance, shutter, everything else, it's, it's going to redo it. So you will need to go back in and set all your settings again. But at least now you're going to get picture back again. Anyway, I hope this helps out some people because this was definitely really tough. And don't get discouraged. I had to do this like 10 times until I figured out that joystick. So that joystick is really the key of making sure that you have a really good firm press in. I mean, I'd almost press it as hard as you can. All right, well, hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to ask away in the comments. And if I come up with any other technical things like this, I'm gonna be posting them up. All right, thank you.